Look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Oh, he brought me from a mighty long ways. Oh, he brought me from a mighty long ways. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Oh, he brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, he brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, he brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. Oh, he brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light look where he brought me from well god bless you good morning elder and sister dorset good morning sister newbie good morning sister jackson good morning dr harrison good morning brother henderson god bless you and sister lisa good morning deacon and sister pope good morning sister banks good morning god bless you dj forgiven good morning good morning alante hill Good morning, Marilyn Simpson Haynes. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Tally. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, um, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad Tobago. Good morning, Latasia. God bless you. I pray that Carter's feeling better and that you're feeling better. Good morning, Sister Gibson. Good morning, Mother Wilkins. God bless you. It's such a blessing seeing you this weekend. Good morning. <clears throat> Bailey, God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Joyce. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and your family. Good morning, Sister Stimson. God bless you and Deacon Stimson. Good morning, Sister Mary. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Paul. Praise Jesus. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Chamberlain. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Holman. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. It's such a pleasure seeing you this weekend. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Myrick. Good morning, Sister Dykes. Good morning, Sister Reed. God bless you. Good morning, Yolanda. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Taylor. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Burnett. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning, Deacon Grant, God bless you. Wonderful seeing you. Good morning. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Robin. Thank God for you. Good morning, Mother Raleigh. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Saunders. Good morning, Sister Johnson Walker. God bless you, Deacon Walker, and your family. Good morning, Angela. Hallelujah, my dear sister. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Graves. God bless you. Good morning, Zenobia. God bless you. My father enjoyed that banana bread. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Bishop Alde, Lady Alde, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Well, good morning and praise the Lord. Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to receive praise reports of God's goodness, his mercy, God healing, God delivering, God sustaining people in challenging moments. God is doing all of it, and we thank God for what he is doing in our midst. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, please place it in the chat, or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, put it right there in the chat, or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody, 
on the conference call or everybody on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. And that number is 336-567-5358. Again, the number is 336 567 Five three five eight. You can text in your prayer request. Hallelujah. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them. And we are believing God. Hallelujah. That God is indeed able to do what? Exceeding and abundantly above all that we ask or even think. I want you to join me back in the 118th Psalm. And I want to read verses 10 to 14. Psalm 118. Verses 10 to 14. The Bible says, All nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord help me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. I want to use for a thought this morning, surrounded but victorious, surrounded, but victorious. Um, I think most of us could manage one challenge, one difficulty, one difficult moment, one difficult day. I think we could manage that. I think we could manage one area of difficulty. Meaning that if I'm having problems at work, I can manage that. If I'm having a problem physically, by God's grace and healing, I can manage that. If I'm having a difficult relationship with one person, I can manage that. If I'm having um, a little bit of emotional stress, I can manage that. But I think all of us, have had the moments where we felt simply surrounded. That everywhere we looked, everywhere we thought about, everywhere we faced, there was a challenge. Um, I think, I've, I know I've had the moments where everywhere I looked, there was something going wrong. There was problems emotionally and spiritually at the same time there were problems at work at the same time there were some problems at the house at the same time there were problems with my extended family at the same time there were problems at the church there were problems with the greater areas of ministry and you get that point where you literally feel surrounded and i need to tell you that one of satan's tactics one of his tricks is to create a sense of being overwhelmed. See, he wants to overwhelm all of us, any of us, as many of us as possible, because his aim is to get us to give up. Because that's what happens when some people get overwhelmed. When some people get overwhelmed, they just feel like, what is the point of going forward? When some people feel overwhelmed, they just get to a place where they just feel like I can't move anywhere because everywhere I look, there's a problem. Everywhere I look, there's a struggle. Everywhere I look, there's a battle. Everywhere I look, there is some sense of emotional upheaval. And 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 though and and so we can apply this text not in the sense of the writer who was writing about nations attacking him, but we have been attacked from all sides. We have been attacked from all sides. And that's why he says all nations of the all nations compass me about, surrounded me, were surrounding me. But in the name of the Lord, will I destroy them? Now, I want you to look at the dilemma, but then look at the confidence. 
Look at the dilemma, but look, then look at the confidence. They come past me about. Yea, they come past me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Yes, I'm surrounded by a lot of stuff. I'm surrounded by a lot of enemies. I'm surrounded by people that want to see my destruction. I'm surrounded by people that are working and plotting and planning against my, towards my demise. But in the name of the Lord, hallelujah, I will destroy them. Surrounded, surrounded, hallelujah, to the point where we feel like it's almost insurmountable. It happened to Jehoshaphat in the scripture. This might be, hallelujah, one of the inspirations of the writers because he was surrounded by the Ammonites, the Moabites, and Mount Seir, all coming and converging on Judah with the intent of destroying Judah. So much so until the Bible says that Jehoshaphat called a prayer meeting. He called a fast, and in the midst of the fast, he said, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. My God, you've been, I've been in that place where I just didn't know what to do, just didn't know how to face it, just didn't know how to handle it, but I was standing on the promise of God, saying to God, Lord, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are upon you. And you know the story. Hallelujah. The young prophet stands up, Jehaziel, and says, you don't have a need to fight in this battle. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to fight for you. The battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. But I'm fighting, hallelujah, facing all of this. But there's a confidence, even though I'm surrounded, I still have the victory. First of all, I have the victory in my knowledge. Listen to me. I have the victory in my knowledge. Hallelujah. That even though I'm surrounded, he says, they come past me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Hallelujah. In other words, the enemy is not going to take me out. The enemy is not going to bring me down. The enemy is not going to destroy what God has done in my life, but I will destroy the enemy. This, this is a confidence that comes out of the word of God. It doesn't come out of any self aggrandizement. It doesn't come out of you lifting up yourself, but it comes out of your knowledge of the word. What does the Bible say? What did Paul say? I believe in second Corinthians, we are troubled on every Every side, yet not distressed. We are troubled on every side. Everything around us says trouble, but something in my spirit says, don't worry. Hashatama. Hey, God, everything around me says challenges and difficulties and pain and anger. Hallelujah. But in my spirit, it says, don't worry. We are troubled on every side, yet not in distress. The stress is not going to kill me. The stress is not going to take me under because the Lord is what? With me. The Lord is with me. Thou has thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. Oh, God, he's talking to his attackers. Oh, you tried to take me down. Oh, you tried to take me out. Oh, you tried to destroy me, but the Lord helped me. Hallelujah. The attack of the enemy can be severe, but the strength of God, hallelujah, makes the difference. The attack of the enemy can be challenging and painful, hallelujah, and hurtful, but the help of the Lord is going to sustain me through this trial. God is here to help somebody. I know that some of us are going through all kinds of things, but I need to remind you in the name of Jesus Christ that you have help. You have help. You are not in this by yourself. The Bible says he is what? A very present help in the time of trouble. God is our refuge and our strength. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Why? My help cometh from the Lord. That's where it comes from. It's not coming from me. The strength in me is just about dissipated. Oh God, everything I thought I could rely on, hallelujah, is just about dissipated. But I'm leaning on the strength and the help of the Lord. The Lord's strength is making a difference. And he is what? My strength. He helped me. He helped me. He helped me. I don't know how many of you, although you will acknowledge that you would have died if the Lord hadn't helped you. You would have lost your mind if the Lord had not helped you. You would have given up completely on your faith if the Lord hadn't helped you. But the Lord helped me. They thrust sore at me. They attacked me. They came against me. But what? The Lord helped me. And verse 14 is so powerful. 
people because it's exactly what Moses sang. Hallelujah. When Moses crossed over hallelujah, the Red Sea, he said, the Lord is my strength and song. Now look at this. The Lord is my strength. He's my strength. He's the one that's holding me up. He's the one that's sustaining me. He's the one that's keeping my heart and my mind. He's the one that's holding me together emotionally. It's the Lord that is my strength. He is my strength, my God, and he is my song. He's the reason why I sing. He's the reason why I worship. He gives me a daily reason to celebrate and to sing of his goodness and to sing of his mercy. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Oh God, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord, my God, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. He's my song. He's my song. Look where he brought me from. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. He's my song. He's my reason for celebration. He's my reason for praise. He's my reason for worship. He's my reason for giving him the glory. He is my strength. He is my song. You know, when you have the right kind of faith, you'll praise God in the most challenging moments, in the most challenging seasons, at the most challenging times. You will glorify God for his goodness and his mercy. You will celebrate God and what and is become my salvation. He's my strength. He kept me up when I was supposed to fall. Oh God, he's my song. He kept a praise in my lips when I should be complaining and it's become my salvation. That means God is going to show up for me. God is going to step in for me. God is going to make a way for me. God is going to sustain me in the midst of everything that I face. God is going to do it for me because he's my strength. He's my song and he has become my salvation. Saints, I came to tell somebody that feels surrounded that feels inundated, that feels like you have so much going on that you don't know what to do next, that feels like life is just giving you a hard time and a hard season. I came to remind you that you can be surrounded but still have the victory, have confidence in God. The statements that the psalmist makes that he will destroy the enemy was not a statement of his own confidence, but it was a statement of his confidence in God. God is with me. So I can destroy the enemy. Whatever comes at me, oh my God, greater, hallelujah, is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He's the greater one. He's the sustaining one. He's the conquering spirit. Our God is a conqueror. And if you're attached to him, you become what the Bible calls more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Through him that loved us. I'm more than a conqueror. Why? Because look at all the things that God keeps bringing us through. Look at all the things that God keeps allowing us to overcome. But he's given us the spirit of a conqueror. You are not defeated. You are not broken. You are not stepping away. You are not backsliding. You are not giving up. But God is going to hold you together. Hallelujah. In the midst of everything that you face, you can be surrounded but my brother, my sister, right now, right now, at this very moment, you have the victory right now. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you. For your goodness and your grace. I thank you that you continue to show love to us. And Lord, without you, we would be nothing. Without you, God, we could not exist. But Lord, you have given us so much of yourself that today we are thankful to you for everything, everything that you have done for us. Thank you for last night's rest. And Lord, for waking us this morning in our right mind, able to get out of the bed, 
able to get prepared to join this great collection of believers, God, from all over the world. I thank you this morning for the morning prayer family. And whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or conference call, God, I'm thanking you that you have brought us together one more time. And you have brought us together, Lord God, to bless us. So God, fill this prayer room right now. With your glory, with your honor, with your presence. God, remember everybody. God, that's on the prayer line today. Hallelujah. Whatever the needs are, God, we're trusting you to make a way. God, I'm praying that you remember Mother Pittman and remember Sister Sheila Reed, God, and remember, oh God, Bishop Reginald Griffin and Lady Griffin as they travel abroad doing ministry. I pray for Stacy and Trayvon this morning. I pray for Latasia. I pray for Stefan and Bradley. I pray for Mother Doretha Stokes today. I pray for Tanya and Malik and Jaquise this morning. I pray for missionary Clarifa Bradley. I pray for Robert Davis. I pray, oh God, for Malaysia Davis. I pray for Dee Dee Bradley this morning, for Atchika, for Tigris and Amir. I pray for the strength of Sister Seneca Austin, the strength for Sister Lisa Kinchin today. I pray for Tom and Marilyn and Marsha and Joyce and Alethea and Manny and Beverly and their families. I pray for the Ash family, the Colbert family, for Sister Rosetta Hunter. I pray for the Davis family, the Washington family, the White family, the Spigner family, for Meredith Scott and her daughter. I pray for Valencia Perry Fuller this morning. I pray for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson today. I pray, oh God, for Irvin this morning. I pray for Zonia. I pray for Minister Triplett today. Day. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember Bishop and Mother Joseph, Bishop and Lady Alde, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady Davenport, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop Clifton Staten today, Apostle and Lady May today, Apostle and Lady Keith this morning, Apostle and Lady Parsons today. I pray, oh God, for Apostle and Mother Clark this morning. Remember Bishop Reed today. Remember Apostle and Lady Reuben. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Doctor and Lady Spellman. Remember Bishop Johnson today. Remember Bishop Field this morning. I pray, oh God, for Bishop and Lady Groover. I pray for Sister Brittany today, Sister Sile today, Sister John, Sister Pazamore. God, I pray for Cheryl Hubbard and family, for Diane Evans, for the Morgan family, the Scott family, Earl and family, Travis and family. I pray for Catrice and Wilbert and Keenan and Connie and Dawn today. I pray for Mother Evelyn and her grandchildren. I pray for Joshua today and John and Justin and Carl and Tony and Marcus and Christian and Josiah and Monica and Lily Mae and George and Robbie and Sylvia and Desiree Jones and Marissa and Tracy and Rosa Hamilton today. I pray for Sean Howard. I pray for Ronza Howard today. I pray for Ron Howard. I pray for Patrice and Alasia and Kayla and Devin and Lily Jones. God, every name on this prayer list, God, I'm praying for them now. I'm praying that you would stretch out your hand of deliverance, my God, and save. Save. God, Ishatama. Save to the utmost, God. Let, oh, God, every heart repent. Break the yoke of the enemy. My God, in the name of Jesus, and baptize in the water and baptize in your spirit today. I pray for backsliders right now. Lord, look on them wherever they are, whatever they're doing, God. Find them where they are, God, and destroy the yoke of the enemy. Bring them back into fellowship, God, in the name of Jesus. Revive and restore because we know that you're able. God, I'm praying for every believer that is downcast. Every believer that is fighting depression, fighting my God, the attack of the enemy. God, that you would strengthen them. That you would lift up their head, my God. Oh God, they're cast down, but they're not destroyed because you are holding them and you're keeping them. So God, give the victory right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying for the healing of the sick everywhere. I'm praying, God, that you would remember Sister Gertrude Austin, Mother Reeves today, Mother Blunt, Robin's unspoken request. Thank you for what you're doing, God. Junior Corsia, James Kelly, God, Joanne Cardona, Pastor Kevin Kinchin, God, Sister Cheryl Van Leer, God, touch now. Sylvia Hood, Trachelle L, Mother Pinky David today, Mother Elizabeth Anderson, God, Mother Patricia Jordan, Elder Carol Thomas, God, remember Miracle Destiny, remember Melissa Price today. I pray, my God, for Sister Jane. 
Jackie Poole. I pray for Latasia Davis. I pray for Teresa Brooks. I pray, my God, for, oh God, Deacon and Mother Moyer's daughter. I pray for Janice Prater today. I pray for Rachel, for Brother Rodney Moff. I pray for Margaret Andrini, for Dolores Mitchell, for Tammy. I pray for Sylvester Hamlin. I pray for, oh God, hallelujah, Duchess's mother-in-law. I pray for Bobby Bonds, for Sylvia Matthews' grandson, for Carol Steele, for Brandy Holden. I pray for Carter this morning, for Bella Garnett, for Tammy Garnett. I pray for Carlita, for Aisha, for Elder Tucker and Sister Jamie Tucker. I pray for Annette Poole today, for Christy Walters, for Brenda Nixon, for Mother Regina Barton, my God, for Angel Belcher. I pray for Clarence, for Leroy, for Missionary Emma Mott. Lord, I pray today for Minister Perkins this morning. I pray, my God, for Daniel, for Xavier. I pray for healing today for Deacon Adams, for Deacon and Mother Wilson, Deacon and Sister Harrison. I pray for healing today, my God, in the name of Jesus, that you would remember, oh God, hallelujah, Brother Phil. Remember Elder Tall and Elder Dokes today. Remember, my God, Mother Virgie DuBose. I pray for healing today, my God, for Mother Williams, for Mother Meadows. I pray for healing for Mother Lloyd and Mother Perry today. I pray for healing for Missionary Janet Davis, God. I pray for Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy today. I pray for Missionary, oh God, Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Hodges this morning. God, I'm praying that you will remember my God, Sister Denise McLean, Mother Elizabeth Wilson, Brother Carl, remember Deacon James Grant, remember Philip Grant today. I pray for healing for Pastor and Lady Winston, for Bishop, oh, hallelujah, and Mother D, for Mother Hicks today, Mother Owens, for Apostle and Lady Keith, God, undertake and heal in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today, my God, for your healing virtue, oh God, to be dispatched. Remember, my God, Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Remember Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. Remember Sister Shakaya Pope, Mother Carol Coleman. God, remember Bishop Richard Phillips today, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis. Remember Lady J this morning. Remember Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter. I pray today for Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams. I pray for Apostle Sylvester Norwood. I pray for Brother Wiggins today, for Brother and Mother Sherrod, for Mother Garland today, for Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. I pray today that you remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride. Remember in the name of Jesus, Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray today, Brother and Mother Hallelujah Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, Lady Staten. Remember Remember Pastor Carr and Minister Carr today. God, remember Elder Tyson, Elder Smith. Remember Mother Foster, Henry J, and Brother Cliff. Remember my God, Mother Tanaj, Mother Home, and Missionary Simmons today. I pray for healing virtue. My God, upon the sick everywhere. Remember them in a special way. Remember my God in your name, Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. Remember, Lord, in your precious name. Oh God, Marlette. Remember Maurice today. Lord, touch and heal God. Remember Dennis and Tony and Kimberly, God, remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, Cynthia, Mother Jackson, Lord, remember everybody in a hospital, everybody in a nursing home, a rehab center, everybody in hospice, God, you're still the healer there. Lord, I pray today that you remember, oh God, the grieving everywhere. God, remember the family and friends of Sister Janice Hayes Moore. God, remember in the name of Jesus, oh God, remember. Pastor Granison Rivas, remember the family of Bishop Marion Wright Sr. Remember the greater Emmanuel Temple Church. Remember Katiri. Remember, oh God, Mother Carr today. Remember Sister Deborah Horton and the Page family. Remember Mother Hudson this morning and Sister Sessions, God. Remember the Wiggins Taylor family. Remember Tiffany. Remember, my God, the Graves and Jones family. Remember the Coleman family, the Jackson family. Remember Elder Hallelujah Frank and Sister Robinson and their family. Remember Mary Spurl Bunny family. Remember Linda Brewster and family, the family of Eric Mays, the Cobb family, the Nixon family, the Austin family. Remember Yvonne and Ollie Williams and their family. Remember the Sermon family, the Hall family. Remember Cora Brown and family, the Clark family. Tanya Jones today. Remember Elder Lovell and family. Prophetess Faye Taylor and family. God, families everywhere that are grieving. Remember Pastor Chance this morning. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, remember grieving people everywhere. 
everywhere. Remember Pastor Stevens this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray today for grieving people everywhere. God, remember my God, Mother Moya and Mother Walker, God. Remember my God, Jackie. Remember Jaleesa. Remember my God, Takesha. Remember Phoenicia. Remember Whitney. Remember Jerry and their families. God, I pray for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. I pray for Dr. Carter and the family. I pray, my God, for Apostle Phil, Shekinah, and the family. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember Mother Harrell, oh God, and the family. Remember, oh God, the Quarles family. Remember, my God, Mother Grant and the family. Remember the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, oh God, that you remember the Meadows family, the Moyer family, that you remember in the name of Jesus, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, God, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. I pray, God, that you remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. God, I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, God, the Jackson family. Remember the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family today. Remember the Nunn family, the Umstead family. Remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Shona Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family. God, remember my God. Hallelujah, the Banks family. Remember the Ward Wade family. Remember the Middletons, the Taylors. Remember my God in the name of Jesus, the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Booldums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Phillips family, the Taylor family, the Josephs. Remember the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors. Remember my God, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams family and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one, God remember them. I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. I pray for the young people of the church today. I pray God for musicians, singers and psalmists. God look on the entire church in the name of Jesus Christ and God help the church. Strengthen the church. Edify the church. Give the church grace, God, even under the attack of the enemy. Lord, give us the victory. Oh my God, because you are our God and our Savior. I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray today for school employees and students everywhere. Remember Durham Public Schools. God, I pray today that you remember everybody that works. Cover them, protect them, and keep them. And Lord, those that need a job, God, make the provision and open up the opportunity. Lord, I'm praying today that you look on the troubled world that we live in. Lord, trouble everywhere, everywhere, God, everywhere, every continent. Lord, all over this country, all over the world, that's trouble. But Lord, you are the balm in Gilead. You are the great physician, and you are the healer. So God, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from unrighteousness. Heal the land, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land, Jesus, from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you today like never before. Cover us, keep us, and bless us. And Lord, we'll give your name the glory, and we thank you right now for the victory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and let's give God praise right now. Everybody, everybody on the line, everybody give God praise right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody give God praise right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. The Lord is my salvation. That means the Lord is my deliverer from everything I might face. Hallelujah. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my protection. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my friend. The Lord is my keeper. Hallelujah. I'm not going to sit, hallelujah, and wallow in despair or wallow, hallelujah, in defeat, not when I have the victory. And the Lord has promised me the victory. He has promised you the victory. So all we have to do is walk in the statutes of the Lord, 
honor him with our faith and trust me, God is going to work on your behalf. It's not you. It's not me, but it's the God that we serve. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I pray that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected with Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing the number and stay with us each morning. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day seven days a week and you can stay connected with us hallelujah you can also stay connected by your giving and i want to thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank god for them and we thank god for you and if you desire to be a blessing you can mail a gift to refuge temple church p.o box 3552 burlington north carolina 27215 that's p.o box 3552 burlington north carolina 27215 you can also give online our website is www.refugetemple n is in north c is in carolina.com refuge temple nc.com and you can give on the donate page or if you have the Givelify app just simply type in refuge temple burlington you'll see a picture of our church and you can make your gift there and if you have cash app our cash app is dollar sign capital o n e capital r e f u g e one refuge one word the o and the r are capitalized and you can make your gift there you'll see a picture of the logo of the church to know you're in the right place and we thank you for your giving but we thank you most of all because you are a part of the morning prayer family and daily Daily, daily, we receive prayer requests. We receive praise reports of people who are blessed because they are attached to morning prayer. And it's not just Pastor Davis praying, but all of us are bombarding heaven each day. And we thank God for what God is doing through morning prayer because people all over the world are being blessed. So keep coming, keep sharing, keep being a part of the prayer. And as you pray, please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters. Pray for my my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us and that God's favor might be upon us. The Lord cover you, hallelujah, and surround you with his grace and give you the victory. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.